codependence, shopping, eating, media, self-harm, lying, stealing, and obsessive worrying. This is a path to freedom for many repetitive and habitual behavior that causes suffering. Some of us reading this book may be unfamiliar with Buddhism or have not used Buddhist practices as a pathway to recovery. There might also be unfamiliar Buddhist words and concepts in this book. We also understand that dependence and shopping is not a company yet. our path and practice in recovery dharma for people new to recovery, new to Buddhism, and for those familiar with both. This book describes the original Buddhist teachings from which our program comes. The essence of Buddhism's fundamental and early teachings is that four noble truths to show how practicing the Eightfold Path is a pragmatic pathway which can transform the challenges of both early and long-term recovery. This is a renunciation-based program, regardless of our individual UAL addictions. All of our members commit to a basic after not from that we take an air and substance or behavior for process addictions like food and technology. Renunciation may mean establishing thoughtful boundaries and intent. Dash. Tions. For some of us, abstinence from things like obsessive sexual behalf. Dash. IOR, are compulsively seeking out love and relationships, may be necessary. As we work to understand and find meaningful boundaries, many of us have found that after renouncing our primary addiction for a period of time, other harmful behaviors and process addictions become apparent in our lives. Rather than getting discouraged, we found that we these behaviors with compassion, wisdom, and patient investigation into our habitual tendencies. We believe recovery is a lifelong, holistic process of peeling back layers of habits and conditioned behaviors to find our own potential for awakening. Our program is peer-led. We do not follow any one teacher or leader. We support each other as partners walking the path of recovery. Together, this is not a program based in dogma or religion, but in fine. Dash. In the truth for ourselves. This insight has worked for us, but is not the only path. It's fully compatible with other spiritual paths and programs of recovery. We know from our own experience that true recovery is only possible with the intention of radical honesty, understanding, awareness, and integrity, and we trust you to discover your own path. This is a program that asks us to never stop growing. It asks us to own our choices and be responsible for our own healing. It's based on mindfulness, kindness, generosity, forgiveness, and deep compassion. We do not rely on methods of shame and fear as motivators. These haven't worked in our own past and have often created more struggle and suffering through relapse and discouragement. The courage it takes to recover from addiction is ultimately courage of the heart, and we aim to support each other as we commit to this brave work.
Many of us have spent a lot of time criticizing ourselves. In this program, we renounce violence and doing harm, including the violence and harm we do to ourselves. We believe in the healing power of forgive. Dash. Ness. We put our trust in our own potential to awaken and recover, in the four noble truths of the Buddha, and in the people we meet in, connect with in meetings and throughout our journey in recovery. Of course we cannot escape the circumstances and conditions that are part of the human condition. We've already tried, through drugs and alcohol, through sex and codependency, through gambling, and technology, through work and shopping, through food or the restrict, dash, tion of food, through obsession and the futile attempts to control our experiences and feelings, and we're here because it didn't work. This is a program that invites us to recognize and accept that some pain and disappointment will always be present to investigate the unskillful ways we have dealt with that pain in the past and to develop a habit of under dash standing compassion forgiveness and insight toward our own pain the pain of others, and the pain we have caused. Acceptance with insight and compassion is what creates freedom from the suffering that makes our pain seem unbearable. This book is only an introduction to a path that can bring live, dash, liberation and freedom from the cycle of addiction, the intention, and the hope of our program is that every person on the path will be empowered to make it their own may you be happy may you be at ease may you be free from suffering may all beings be free from suffering where to begin how can we use buddhism for our recovery outlined below are the areas that we suggest you concentrate your energy on while walking this path we come to understand the four noble truths and use them as a guide for our path of recovery this program doesn't ask us to be dash believe in anything other than our own potential to wake up just allowing ourselves to believe that it's possible, or even, might, be possible, through, experiential learning, we realize that our efforts can make a difference and, this is a way to recover, then we make a decision to repeatedly commit to, this path, as we learn about the four noble truths, including the, Eightfold path that leads to the end of the suffering caused by addiction. We put these principles into practice in our lives. This book presents an introduction to these truths and the Eightfold Path is a guide to a non-harming way of being in the world. It is both a philosophy and a plan of action. Meditation is an essential part of the program. This book con dash contains some basic instructions for you so you can start right away. Most of us have found it very helpful to attend meetings that include an op dash opportunity to practice meditation with others. A key to this program is Establishing a regular meditation practice, in and outside of meetings. This will help us begin the process of investigating our own minds, our reactivity, and our behavior. We look deeply at the nature and causes of our suffering so we can find a path to freedom that's based on authentic self-knowledge. 
The subsequent chapters discuss three aspects of the program. The three jewels of Buddhism, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Dash. Ha as a way of developing the wisdom, ethical conduct, and spiritual practice that leads to recovery. We hope that groups and individuals will use this book to customize their own course of recovery. We offer some suggestions in that spirit. You're invited to take what works for you and leave the rest at the end of each section are inquiries for self-exploration these questions can be used as part of a formal process with a mentor wise friend or group as tools to explore a specific life situation as guides for a daily self-inquiry practice or as meeting discussion topics a wise friend or mentor can be of great help in deepening your understanding and we encourage you to reach out to people you encounter at meetings supportive friendships are an integral part of the practice the questions may bring up shame guilt or sadness or they may possibly activate trow dash Ma, it can be beneficial to set up a self-care strategy ahead of time. B. Intent of the questions is to deepen our practice so we can experience more freedom, not to bring us more suffering. Our path is not a checklist, but rather a practice in which we choose where and how to invest our energy in a way that is both wise and compassionate toward ourselves and others. This journey involves meditation, meetings, and written inventories, all of which can improve our lives greatly. The practice of the Eightfold Path helps us develop in dash sight and compassion as we begin to look into the causes and conditions that led to our own suffering with addiction. This path doesn't have an end. There will continue to be suffering and challenges in life. This path offers a way to transform the suffering caused by our habitual reactions to these challenges and an end to the illusion of escape we try to find in substances or behaviors. It's a way to break our chains with our own hands. It's a path of deep freedom and refuge. The practice. Renunciation. We understand addiction to describe the overwhelming. Craving and compulsive use of substances or behaviors to escape press. Dash. End time reality, either by clinging to pleasure or running from pain. We. Commit to the intention of abstinence from alcohol and other addictive substances. For those of us recovering from process addictions, part of you, dash, largely those for which complete abstinence is not possible, we also identify and commit to wise boundaries around our harmful behaviors, prepare dash, lie with the help of a mentor or therapeutic professional meditation we commit to the intention of developing a daily daily medida dash t on practice practice we use meditation as a tool to investigate our actions in dash Tensions, reactivity, and the nature of our mind. Meditation is a personal practice, and we commit to finding a balanced effort toward this and other healthy practices on the path. Meetings. We attend recovery meetings whenever 
whenever possible, in person and or online, whether it be with Recovery Dharma, other Buddhist communities, or, or other recovery fellowships. In early recovery, it is rec. Dash. Amended to attend a recovery meeting as often as possible. We also commit to becoming an active part of the community, offering our own experiences and service wherever possible. The path. We commit to deepening and broadening our understanding of the Four Noble Truths and to practicing the Eightfold Path in our daily lives. Inquiry and investigation. We explore the Four Noble Truths through writing and sharing in-depth, detailed inquiries. These can be worked on with the guidance of a mentor or therapist in partnership with a trusted friend or with a group. As we complete our written inquiries, we strive to hold ourselves accountable and take direct responsibility for our actions using wise intentions. This includes making amends for the harm we have caused in our past. Sangha, wise friends, mentors. We cultivate relationships within a recovery community to support our own recovery and the recovery of others. After we have completed significant work on our inquiries, S. Dash established a meditation practice, and achieved renunciation from our ad. Dash. Addictive behaviors, we can become mentors to help others on their path. Deliberation from addiction, anyone with any period of time of renewed. Dash. Creation and practice can be of service to others in their sangha. When mentors are not available, a group of wise friends can act as partners in self-inquiry and support each other's practice. Growth. We continue our study of Buddhist practices through reading, listening to Dharma talks, visiting and becoming members of recovery, and spiritual sanghas, and attending meditation or retreats to enhance our understanding, wisdom, and practice. We undertake a lifelong door. Dash. Nay of growth and awakening. I. Awakening. Buddha. Most of us enter recovery with one goal in mind. To stop the suffering that got us here in the first place. Whether that was drinking. Using drugs. Healing, eating, gambling, sex, codependency, technology, or other process addictions. As newcomers, most of us would be satisfied with simple damage control or reduction in harmful behavior. We want to stop hurting ourselves or others in particular ways. You're reading this because there is a spark of wisdom in you that desires to seek the end of the suffering of your addiction. You've already taken the first step on the path to your own awakening. Everyone who has made the wise intention to recover, wherever they are on their path, 